So you get a feel of SHOT Show. POF booth, this is their new Piston 308. It's Sean Cody, TexasGunTrust.com. I'm here at SHOT Show. I'm at the POF booth. I'm at the LaRue booth at SHOT Show 27. It's significantly shorter. Hard to get that lighting right. <laughs> You can see the mount system. Is there a direct threat or brake attack? I'm at the SIG suppressor booth. Get a look at this. We're looking at their lineups. So what is this, John? This is a uh, MCX in 300 blackout. Six and three quarter inch barrel with a titanium direct thread silent. At the dead air booth. This is the Ghost 45. You see it breaks down into a short mod. One is definitely Sean Cody, right? <laughs> I've been friends with that Sean Cody for a long, long time. I'm here at the dead air booth. We're looking at some more of the suppressors. These are their cutaway baffle stack models. Out upper receiver with a custom Noveski rail that has a pinned Sandman TI. Plug that spacer on. Tighten down the back cap. Slide it on. Put the front cap on. And we need a tool. Now I'm at the Gemtech booth. This is the new Gemtech tracker. This is an 11.3. And I'm still at the Gemtech booth. Say hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. <laughs> Joey, tell us about this GM. The retail on this suppressor is $599. So this is... So you get an idea of the relative size of the IR Patrol and the REAP IR. <laughs> Griffin Armament has come out with the SNACH. If you look at the Griffin booth with Evan, one of the owners of Griffin Armament, he's going to do oriented suppressor. And just like the old World War II resistance weapons like this stem were cheap to make and were effective, that's what the resistance is. So this is going to be a great can. Uh, this is a resistance 45. It has the same concept as a resistance 9. That is a high quality. Uh, and I'm at the Caltech booth. This is the new 556 Bullpup, the RDB. It started shipping in December. I'm at the SNS Precision booth and I'm looking at some of the strobe lights, and these are important. I'm at the TBAC Thunder Beast Arms Corp booth. We've got all of their cans here. I'm at the Rugged Suppressors booth. This is uh, Henry Graham's new company. This is his uh, 30 caliber Razor Juggernaut Tactical booth. This is their Rogue X. I'm at the Thompson Machine booth. This is the Poseidon. It's a 9 Thompson Machine booth with Brooks Van Cameron. Scout 3 it retails for $34.99. It's got a, it is the Centurion. Primary arms booth. Of course, it is shot. I'm at the Magpul booth. These are the new uh, Glock 17 mags. This is a PMAG 27 and a PMAG 21. They're 9mm booth. This is the new PRS stock. B pull UBR Gen 2 stock. I'm at the POF booth. This is the Revolution. This is the sharp edges to snag on stuff. It operates like a Ruger. Push it in. Six shots, so you get an extra shot over your typical Smith & Wesson concealable. And the dyed in the wool Glock guy. I want you to look at the reset. You can actually hear and feel the reset just like you do on... So you can shoot this just like it's bigger brother. Coming out of your pocket. Um, this will fit in my pocket. So, look at that. Show them once. Give it a little bit. But you put it in a pocket hole. Crisp. So it's going to be, uh, you're going to be able to shoot it. Arsenal, in partnership with Gentech, is coming out with a line of suppressor-ready AKMs. These are milled receiver rifles. They are going to uh, be checked at the factory and manufactured with the bores concentric to the thread or the threads concentric to the bore. They... It's got a decocker and it's got a nice smooth...
double action pull. It's a little heavy. <laughs> if you look at this, these uh, Rex pistols also come with a threaded barrel, so they are suppressor ready. So at the bottom here, they have an AKS 74 that is suppressor ready also. I'm at the Steiner booth, and as y'all know, Steiner bought laser devices several years ago, and they've continued the innovations in the civilian infrared laser market uh, that laser devices started. This is their new D-Ball A4. I'm at the Kalashnikov USA booth, looking at the new Kalashnikov Alphas. They don't... I'm at the Knights booth, and we're looking at the Knights Armament 556 QDC full size on top. You make sure it's backed all the way off at slide zone. Screws down, and now it is locked on and secure. And to get it off, you just. I'm at the FN booth. Everyone has been asking me about the semi-automatic M249, so here it is. This is part of FN's military collection. This is a belt-fed semi-squad automatic weapon, or squad access the gas piston. Uh, interesting thing about this one is it's got a better trigger than the uh, regular SCAR-17, as you would expect. We're scrolling through the different modes. So you can see people in the frame there. So this kind of gives you an idea of uh, how you're going to use this weapon. And I've always loved the way the Beretta M9A3 or F90 Model 92 feels. This one is at the aim point booth. If you look at this, this is a 6X magnifier that goes behind any of your aim point Heading to saying goodbye to the Palazzo.